oh what it do it's your boy Merle back again with another reaction before we hop into it make sure you subscribe to my channel check out my spotify playlist soundcloud all my social media links down in the description box and let's hop into it today we got jeffree stars bloodlust palette reveal um palette and collection reveal um i like jeffree you are, i like watching jeffree's videos um, I don't do makeup or anything like that. Um, I have two sisters, so I, you know, am familiar with some things. And I do tend to just, I don't know, have a habit of watching beauty influencers. Um, I've actually followed Jeffrey, not necessarily followed, but I'm just familiar with Jeffrey from back when he used to do music on MySpace. Cause he was like the biggest like so like you know he wasn't a celebrity outside of the internet but he was like big on like myspace he was like the biggest artist so i always it's like you always knew who he was and then obviously like fast forward to now like he's this big beauty influencer person makeup artist brand thing yeah so um aside from his you know personal comments and things in the past I try not to get too much into that and I just watch the videos for entertainment purposes. Um, like I said, I don't wear makeup, so, you know, I won't be getting this palette, at least not for myself or anything, but I do like watching the reveals and things like that just to see what kind of like, you know, cool. I like this type of stuff more so for like the marketing and like just the branding and the creative direction behind the launches and just the product packaging and all that type of stuff. So let's check it out. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Oh my. That always gets me. Hi, how are ya? <laughs> God, today we are revealing the follow-up to the iconic internet breaking and conspiracy palette. And uh -oh. we are revealing blood sugar. Dang, Jeffrey works fast because I swear, I mean, I know it takes so many months to, you know, orchestrate all of this, but it just seems like not too long ago, the conspiracy collection palette or whatever was like the thing for like months. And I feel like he just like released that. I remember like the, the videos up until the release and Shane's videos and stuff. And then now he's already up with a new collection. Like, okay, get them coins part three yes the rumors are true i know that me shane and andrew may have leaked my mini bundle that goes out with the what kind of camera is he filming on because this looks like a hd tv you know like when you like the like super like 4k now or like i don't know all the technical terms but sometimes like i'll be watching the tv and it looks so i don't know if it's like clear or so clear it just looks like like it's a live camera like watching them like like it's not actual like a TV type of look. I don't know how to explain it, but that's what this looks like it's being filmed on. Like this looks like it's live. Like it doesn't look like it's filmed. This collection, a few it's like ago, that crisp or that. Lust collection is almost here, baby. And today we are going to reveal everything. Are you ready? Okay, so I just want to give a quick warning that 2020 this hair is, even though, not to say he's copying and stuff like that, like, I know he's always done, like, crazy hair and different colors and stuff like that. But this hair in particular is really giving me Cardi B. It's gonna be insane. If y'all thought 19 was crazy, get ready, because 2020 Jeffree Star Cosmetics, we are expanding. We have so many brand new products, minus, we might create a few more palettes of the year. But Wait, is he in, is he still online only or is he in stores too now? Because I remember in one of the videos with Shane uh, regarding the conspiracy stuff, they were talking about, um, I think they were saying if they still wanted to keep that online or did they want to bring that to like, I don't remember if it was Morphe or who, whoever, it was bring it to the store. So I'm wondering, is he still online or is he going to ever expand to the store? I'm assuming he keeps all of his profits if he just does it online. And seeing how, you know, big and successful he is at this point, it might just be smarter just to do that. But I feel like, you know, in order for your brand, because I mean, he's really big. It's like, what else do you need? But I feel like if he wants to take his brand to like, a, like a Mac, a L'Oreal or something, that's kind of like everywhere like accessible like at the drugstore 
at Mac, at this, at that, at Sephora, whatever. I feel like he he should, you know, launch into stores. Um, I don't know. I think it would be cool to see him launch into stores, like, just kind of, or maybe not even, like, fully, but kind of like how Kylie does. Like, she's about, like, what, 80% online, and then she has exclusive deals with Ulta. So... Besides that, we are expanding into a lot of categories. So 2020, you are going to see the first ever Jeffree Star Cosmetics Mascara Formula. You're okay. going to see liquid eyeshadows. You're going to see a bunch of new lip formulas. And there are so many more surprises and things in the works that I cannot wait to show you soon. But I thought, listen, blood sugar, the palette, the, my red baby, it changed my life. It broke records for us, and it is still my top-selling palette minus wow. conspiracy and jawbreakers. So after Blue Blood broke records last year, I said I really need... He keeps... I like... The, that's one thing about Jeffrey. He definitely knows how important, like, marketing and branding and, like, just the creative direction. Because even for him doing this whole announcement thing, he has, like, this whole, like, royal, like, purple things going on in the background, the purple outfit, hair. Like, I mean... Go all out if you're going to do it. And when you combine red and blue, bitch, we all know you get purple. Oh, and I really wanted a purple moment. Now, gotcha. to thirsty, to now bloodlust, I want to bring you guys feelings and like, hello, good morning, hi packaging. This may be one of my favorite unicartons I've ever done. I love it. I um, like it. When designing this. It's like a mid, like he's keeping on theme with his background and stuff. It's kind of like medieval like that back in the day um i don't know what the type of font is is it calligraphy oh don't kill me the comment. oh my god <laughs> i want it to be very like yes it's there's some royal moments like old english um font there we go in there but really dark and dramatic and just very high fashion so we're about to open up everything right now and play but i thought for the third installment we really had to do something sickening, and the Bloodlust collection is all about. It's teetering on a little bit of like vampire love. I said I didn't want to create this. Once you get your palette, bitch, you can throw it out. You can keep it if you want, but it is going to make sure that your Wait. palette stays flawless. Now it's time to open up the Bloodlust oh, okay. palette. And of course, you're going to see the package. Okay, he did that. I'm not going to lie. Because it's literally like velvet or like. I don't know if it's velvet or if it's like velour or suede or whatever covering the package. I mean, the palette, that's fire. Packaging is very different than what we've ever done before. Uh -huh. This is, yes, actual real velvet. Fabric. Okay, I see. It feels amazing. It is a very heavy and sturdy palette. It has a jewelry clasp opening here. I wanted to do something different than the trunks and the... I know that packaging is so expensive. That's how you know, like, he's getting money, okay? Ooh, you got money. Clasps. Yeah. Hello, it's 2020, baby. And you guys can see the shape and the size. It's slim. It's beautiful. Yes, you can try. I live for nails. Y'all see them nails? Travel with this. It's not too massive. I've seen brands do way bigger. Um, and I wanted to really them nails are killing. the envelope of packaging for what makeup can do. So uh, let's open up the Velvet Hexagon. Let's open up the Blood Lust Palette. Oh my God. Yeah. I oh, that's pretty tight. He has in the palette the the colors they all have like little stamps in them like little symbols and they're not all the same you know like i think like kylie's um highlighter it's like the drip you know like the drip from like the lips like her brand thing um but like he has like a crown he has like stars he has I, that might be like a wand or something like it's different like little shapes and stuff in the actual colors or you know whatever they're called that's dope yes. Woo. just seeing it on camera for the first time is getting me off <laughs> right now oh my god all right you guys so let's zoom in let's dive in i like these colors too um even though i mean i'm not you know well versed in this so but 
this whole thing just looks the same. I mean, essentially, these colors look very similar, like these colors. But, um, but I think it's pretty dope. This looks like a palette, especially with him talking about, like, the vampire stuff and the way he has his makeup applied. I'm assuming that his eyeshadow and stuff is from this palette. Um, it's giving me, like... Aaliyah Queen of the Damned vibes you know that movie where she played Queen Akasha the vampire queen or whatever it's like you know kind of dark kind of moody but kind of like sultry and like sexy too that's what this palette is giving me and I was gonna say I hope he has a red in there and he does have a red in there smart then here are all 18 shades now this is a very eclectic palette of course there are all that looks like a snake. Of purple, is that a snake? But you see a very big hint of teal, a hot metallic red. Okay, now what I'm most oh, excited yeah, about... Oh, yeah, it is. It's a serpent. It's a little snake. That's, that's dope. ...about this palette is that there are brand new formulas that I've never made before, and I'm sure you guys have already spotted a few of them. They are so wet looking on the lid. I'm wearing one right here. Oh, this is okay. That's fire. I'm not gonna lie. I love a dewy, wet look, red carpet, especially with like beach hair. I love like a glossy lid or a shiny lid, like, and then throw a little inner corner, a little sparkle. Shade Wet Jewel, which is right there. Um, oh my god, it's so good. And it's very highly concentrated and it looks like diamonds. So there's mm -hmm. a new formula in this palette. Of course, we have the iconic matte. JSC formula in here as well as the iconic metallic formula um but let's talk about it you guys if you want to pause the video sound off below already how are we feeling about the packaging about the shades about the design of course so what are your thoughts y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think of Jeffrey's new palette um are y'all rushing out to go get it did y'all already order it if it's available yet um I like it. I think it's dope. I like the packaging. I like the theme. I like that he has a theme and it's just everything is really cohesive. So that's one thing about Jeffrey. It's like, aside from antics, any personal things, he's really like a marketing genius. You know, he's really good at branding and um, creative direction and stuff like that. Like, kudos to him. You guys see the stunning filigree in here. And we do have with a piece of plastic on the mirror um so you guys know that is fresh sweetie mm -hmm. i wanted to let you guys know about that it is going to come very protected there should be no broken shadows of course things happen some fedex workers kick things across the floor if you're watching this okay video, stop it <laughs> all right i think it's time to swatch this that's what we're here yeah, for yeah let's now, see you of course, swatch this it is a little bit different I'm ready to Your see majesty and take the crown. Let's dive in. All right, I'm going to swatch them by row. So here is, of course, the two top, Your Majesty and Take the Crown. Now, Your Majesty is a really cool bone color. You guys I want to see him swipe because I think, well, okay, Jeffrey might be a little different because usually I feel like your palm is lighter than the rest of your body. But Jeffrey's palm blends in with the rest of his body because I was going to say I don't want to see him... I don't like um, when people uh, swatch on their hands because it's so light. In my opinion, you can't really tell and it's not really, uh, what do you call that? Like, it's not really reflective of how it will look on your skin because, you know, like I said, your palm is lighter than the rest of your body. But since his palm is the same color as his body, I guess it's really no point in him doing it on his arm or anything, especially because he has the tattoos, which are distracting. So, hmm. Yeah. Like, Love to start. this, this, um, I don't remember what he said the lighter color is, but, like, I can't even see it on his hand, you know? Start my palettes off with a white color, where it, whether it's matte or shimmer, every palette has kind of gotten that feel. So I wanted to keep up that theme, and this is a more, like, ivory bone color. It's stunning. That's crazy I how much he blends in with that. Here. That but means he's so one, pale. I know you guys can see immediately on the brow bone. Um, is take the crown and it is a very icy metallic lavender 
Let's dive I like in that. into the second row. There are four shades. And of course, you may be like, Jeffrey, why is there one missing? I'm going to swatch it live for you because it is okay. a brand new formula. So we have Deviant right here. It is a matte lavender. I like this second so one. Pretty. And it is about, I would say, five shades lighter than the lavender in Jawbreaker. You guys know I do not repeat shades ever. And this one is just straight up matte. It's stunning. Now, and the next shade is Beauty Sleep. <laughs> My favorite. Uh this i would say i don't even need to see anything else like if i wore makeup or whatever i definitely would um my go-to would be beauty sleep like it's so fire how it's literally like a purple and like champagne metallic like mixed like it looks it looks gorgeous this is a duochrome gold pink duochrome like oh it's just so pretty yeah it. it's one of the most i think most pretty shades I've ever made. Okay, I love um, Saweetie, the the rapper. She's just my favorite everything right now. She's, uh, you know, fashion's new uh, it girl, or at least rap's new fashion it girl. Like, and she does a lot of, you know, looks and a lot of great makeup looks. And I really want to see her in that uh, beauty sleep, like, now, the next one is called Wet Jewel. We, of course, are going to swatch it live for you right All here. Right, um, I want to see and that. And it is on my lid. Like I said earlier, it is so pretty. You can, of course, use a brush. Um, you don't need to wet it, but you can. I go in right with the finger and just go bam. Um, so let's swatch Miss Wet Jewel. Oh, the texture. It feels so yummy and buttery when you're swatching it. I'm going to show you guys right here. This looks good on your cheeks, on your lips, on your lid. I don't Ooh. see it. Oh, yes. okay. It looks like glass. It's not... I need either, like, when Jeffrey's swatching this, because his skin is so pale, like, a lot of things just don't show up, like the lighter things. Like, I need, you know, that's why he has to, you know, build it and stuff. I need to see, like, he should have, like, another person with him. Like, just a... You don't have to be like, you know, black or brown skin or whatever, but just like a little more tan than him because I can't really, it's like kind of, it's not really that good of a swatch because I can't really see it. For the faint of heart, you definitely need to want to be that bitch to wear these type of shades. All right, now the fourth shade in that row is called Royal Pain. Um, one of my favorite shades. This is such a cool. Mm, it's like a coral. It's beautiful. Okay, out of these shades, this kind of looks, I don't know if this is a black, but it kind of looks like it has like purple, like little sparkles in it. And this, this gold is giving me like, like, I don't want to say like dirty gold, but like, uh, like aged gold, you know? Dark purple plum. It's called a dungeon. It That's is matte. Shade. Yeah. I am obsessed Very with matte. This. Next, we have scandal water. Now, that means gossip in the old and medieval times, if you're wondering what that means. And in the pan, you got scandal water. I see a beautiful goblet cup stamped in there. It is a really cool shade. It's kind of lavender. I'm about to start using that. Stop with all that scandal water. <laughs> with a hint of blue in there. It's very Willy Wonka. Um, Violet. <laughs> now, the next shade, Sworn Enemy. It is a stunning gold green that has a really mm, cool okay. shift in it. It has a little bit of glitter in there. I love it. It's not like a true 24 character. Yeah, it's, it's a not. Bit more it's like dirty. Dramatic. Yeah. And the next shade is called Pink Magic, and it is the same formula as Wet Jewel. Um, now, Pink Magic is over here on my eye. It is so pretty and i think it is i know i say that a lot like it's one of my favorite shades i've ever created but the way that the pigment just hits on that lid with the shift yeah. deceased next we have this beautiful fire metallic red and it is called bleeding heart now you see in the pan it has a stunning jeweled heart in there i really wanted to create a drop of red in there i knew that it needed it hide red and purple together is one of my favorite combinations but i didn't want it to look like blood sugar so yeah mm. i put one red in there and red and purple is just not a combination 
you rarely ever see together like color um like clothing shoe combinations to me it's not a combination that goes together really well like aside from his hair because yeah but like makeup probably where you can like build it and do different things yeah but usually you don't see purple and red together kind of for a reason because it doesn't really look that appealing and i think that it really made everything like offset and stunning in the perfect way the last shade in that row i know you guys are like what the hell it's called executioner and it is a stunning black with a purple pink Ooh, shift in there. i'm good because i was like it kind of looks like there's like purple like the, the sparkle is purple Ooh, i'm good I like that. I want to see Saweetie in that too. Like, or, well, I know Ree does her own makeup now, like has her own stuff. But I would like to see Ree or Saweetie in that for sure. There, and the glitter really, it looks like a like high fashion, like, like goth like type yourself. look. A lot of people are going to look different. Does that really look like that? Baby, it literally looks like that. Like on your finger, it is so pretty. Oh yeah, I like that. And it is a straight up hot lavender purple. It is this, so pretty and it does. I, I, even though you can barely see it, I like that lighter shade on his hand. Matches my outfit. Hey. Now, the next shade is called Monarchy. It is a beautiful muted brown. Oh, okay. It's all over the lid by itself. A muted brown is giving me very much Skims, Shapewear, Kim K, Kanye, the Kardashian. It's giving me that. Um, I know they all, at this point, have their own makeup lines, but I could definitely see, like, Kim in the monarchy. In the crease. Because that's, like, her that aesthetic. Like, Muted browns like, and beiges. Um, a simple color to blend everything out. This is that girl. It matches and goes with everything. Now, the next shade, the last in this row, is called Blood Queen, and has a beautiful royal crown. Okay. Um, um, shape in there. Not we have babe. Vile Serpent and Betrayal. Now, Vile Serpent is a just. I like that. It kind of reminds me of like <laughs> professional suits. Like, I don't know. Like, a, not a men's suit because men usually wear like colorless suits, but it kind of gives me like like a, a women's business suit. Straight up matte hot teal it's stunning i'm wearing it right here on my it's lower pretty. lash line Ooh. i'm obsessed with it oh that's what and that is oh, that's gorgeous. is a beautiful purple that has a stunning gold duo okay. shift to it it's really pretty this collection has five amazing lip glosses now when i launched oh the i almost forgot that this was a whole collection i'm like okay i like the palette but i forgot yeah Gloss lip glosses um, I couldn't believe how well you guys received them and they have sold like, insane. So I'm like, okay, I gotta keep making more. Um, I want more sparkle, more drama. What's new? <laughs> and I really wanted to... Okay, what's new? Give you guys something really fun. So here's what the packaging looks like this time around. The Unicard is a gorgeous metallic purple with, of course, lavender writing. There's already two of the shade. I like... A Jeffrey because he's very confident like I like that the packaging says the gloss because it's like this is it there's that gloss there's that gloss but this is the gloss like there's nothing else it's Lord Star and Iridescent Throne I guess let's dive in right now hi so Lord Star is a little ode to Lord Voldemort which a lot of people like to call Harry Potter, I love um, Harry Potter. It's my favorite. Call me, um, I take it as a compliment. I love it. I think it's funny. <laughs> so Lord Star is here, baby, and this gloss is so pretty. It's fuchsia with beautiful blue and purple reflex, and we're gonna swatch them for you right here. Oh my God! Hi, how are you? Hi, look at that color. I just, I can't. It is so pretty. And here, I'll do one more dunk. Obviously, you guys know these are on the sheer side. They're not fully opaque, but they're pretty opaque still. And there is a Lord Star. Okay. And of course, you guys also see that this comes in the same component as the original gloss, but it is now all purple chrome. I think it turned out perfect. Jeffrey really puts his time and effort and thought into this packaging, like into his packaging period. Like, 
because I've seen a lot of palettes, I've seen a lot of makeup collaborations, I've seen this and that, and I'm like, he kind of goes outside the box. I guess that's why he's so successful, like. Now this shade is called Iridescent Throne. It is a beautiful, really, really pale icy lavender with the most Ooh, stunning reflex in it. Wow. A icy lavender, and Saweetie is an icy queen. I need to see Saweetie in this collection, like. I know I'm sounding like her manager or like her publicist, but I'm like, they need to, a Sweetie and Jeffrey collab needs to happen. And we'll just do a little swatch next to it. Oh. Okay, I want to see that on the actual lid. The there is like glass. It is so pretty and it has this blue and purple reflex that just make it Ooh. like, uh, yeah, like, like that. High. All right, the next shade is called <laughs> Wizard's Glass, and ooh, it is a... With, ooh, okay, so I was just watching Power Ranger Turbo, and there's, like, the wizard in the movie, and this makes me think of it. Oh, Beautiful <laughs> Wizard's Glass. With pink and gold reflex in there, and a little bit of a purple reflect, just to really make it, like, next level. I'm gonna swatch this straight across this way for a second. It is one of my favorites because the way that everything is his favorite. Is it, the purple and pink glitter in there, it's like it's over. Hi. The next shade is called a sorcery. It is a beautiful light peach with pink and purple and blue reflex in it. And I don't know if this is my favorite one. It might be. I've been wearing this one a lot. And when you swatch it, oh, it's just like you can't so see. Pretty. Oh, you can't. Oh, yeah, you can't really see that one at all. I um, might have to see it like on, like I said, another skin tone or just on the actual lips. But as far as how it looks in the packaging, it looks like I have a face wash that's like rose quartz. It looks like that. Of this by itself, but all of these look so good over lipsticks as well. But I am obsessed with this one. It just looks like Barbie's candy. Last but not I do want to show off an exclusive Sorry, to guys. the Star Cosmetics <laughs> website. And this is a brand new Extreme Frost Highlighter. Now, when I launched these this holiday for our fifth year anniversary, I did not expect the response I got. Now, when creating this product, I was like, okay, I know it has to be expensive. But I am about to knock Jeffrey out. He's always talking about he doesn't expect. I mean... He's trying to be humble, you know, but it's just like at this point, anything that you put out is going to sell out. It's going to be a big deal. So you should at this point expect it to have the response that it has. Formula he does. Say, he just be saying that, that just to you seem humble. So you know? when they went up and they sold out in record time, I was like, oh, okay, got it. Now to create this formula, you can't do a million shades because it's very unique, the texture, the way it reflects, hi, right here. Um, and if you played with it, you know, it's a little special. So introducing the purple Extreme Frost, this shade is called Choking on Ice. And this, oh my God, it's so good. In the campaign. A lot of this stuff is like very icy type of stuff and just like, I'm like, you could have had Saweetie here with this reveal. You could have had Kim Petras here to do her icy little day when I wanna really like me. Man, that would have been dope if he would have had like one of these artists and stuff. Paint images with me in the, um, in the bed with all the guys. Ooh. We rubbed this on all their bodies and it looks so See? unreal. Like, look at that marketing. Look at, you know, that campaign. It's just like on camera all right so here's what the packaging looks like looks like a jewelry box take off the sleeve it is all purple vegan leather of course that means it's faux it's not real come on vegan leather but it feels very luxurious and amazing now let's open her up i mean <laughs> I won't even be mad. I don't know how much this stuff costs, but I will not even be mad at his price points because he put a lot of effort into this packaging alone. Like, all right, you guys see that it's in a purple chrome component. Let's take it out. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Here is what the back of it looks like, of course. Now let's just open it up because this looks like purple diamonds on your skin. I'm just gonna do one little swipe. It looks like the Rihanna Diamond, is it Diamond Bomb or Diamond Ball, Diamond Bomb highlighter? It looks just like that. One only. Oh my God. Now, if you want 
so you can take this. I need to see it. And just put it right here. I'm gonna put a tiny right there. Okay. I think the difference is it does have a little like purple pigment or like a slight purple shine to it a little bit. Very, you know, reminiscent of the Rihanna um, one though. It's so pretty. Now I love to just take this, you guys, with my fingers and literally just rub it everywhere. It looks like, oh, heaven on the skin. Now, of course, these retail for $50 and this product is exclusive to JSC, but everything else, of course, will be um, available on all my retailers. Okay. But shades that you guys are very familiar with, let's start over here. We have I'm Royalty, Scorpio, Virginity, Blow Pony, Clout, and Berries on Ice. Now, the two brand new shades are right here. These two, they are really beautiful. They're metallic, and I'm going to show and swatch them with you. But we yeah. have Royal Armor. And we have I'm a Vulgar. All right, now this shade is an icy lavender metallic. I am a what? I am a Vulgar or I am a Ogre? It's called Royal Armor. Neither one of them and makes sense. It is more of a kind of like a topper. It does, of course, have amazing pigment, but this over in it's shade so okay. is so pretty. Excuse my hands, you guys. There's eyeshadow everywhere, but this shade is so pretty and it looks so Okay, I think, I don't know if there is um like official swatch paper or official like some type of thing that people swatch on besides themselves i think someone should invent that already because i always see people swatch on their arms and like which is cool for the people that have the same skin tone as you but i just think there should be like some type of like mannequins or something so you can give us like a true swatch you know because He's so pale, like a lot of these things do not show up, so it's not like a good gauge, you know? It's really good by itself or over any other lip. All right, now I'm Vulgar is a stunning Oh, fuchsia, I'm Vulgar. Metallic. I, listen, when I saw this done in the lab, we were creating pigments and I was like, okay, I want something a little different. This just stood out to me and I'm like, I've never created a shade okay. with that kind of like chrome I don't fuchsia. I mean, that'd be interesting to see somebody wear. I, I like, I feel like I wouldn't see anybody wearing that just outright, but hmm, you never know. Interesting. These colors. We have clout. We have I love this last color. That looks like something like my mom would wear. Berries on ice. Oh, berries on ice. The new shade of royal armor right here. I'm wearing virginity with a lip liner. Hi, shout out to the lip liners. They're going to be coming back real soon, by the way. Um, and we're doing a shade extension. P.S. That comes out soon. But here is the mini. It's so crazy how like lip lining was like, aside from like the Spanish community, because I know it's like really big, like Latinas and Cholas and stuff like that. But just the 90s in general, lip lining was so big. I remember like, growing up seeing you know everybody line their lips and how it's like made a comeback now that's so crazy bundle now this retails for 52 dollars just like all the other minis it comes in this gorgeous box as always i think that's a good price for that you guys know that every collection i have to drop some amazing merch to go with it and this time everything is purple honey so we have brand new JSC mirrors. This is what the box looks like. Of course, you guys saw the new iconic crown mirror mm. in the intro. I wanted to do a few different shapes. Of course, the star mirror. Oh my God. We've sold millions of those now. And yeah. I can't believe how they have spread. They're, they've literally been shipped to over 200 countries and it's just so surreal. Um, of course, we have the new Jeffree Star approved mirrors at launch um, earlier I this really month. And now... I really like those mirrors that Shane did. I don't know if they ever went on sale, but I remember in the video, they had like the mock-up of it or the sample of it. And it was like the pig. That was dope. Uh, we have, of course, the new crown mirror for this collection. Now, this crown mirror retails for $30 and the star mirrors are $25. So okay. minus this, we do have some amazing star mirrors. Now, we have two for this collection. This is a soft touch lavender. We're going to zoom in. Now this looks matte. It is. It feels so good. It's really mm. soft. And it is he soft is a hustler. The third mirror okay. in this collection is a beautiful purple glitter. Oh, Let me try to get in the lighting. Oh, hello, glitter. And this one is so pretty. I love the new J. 
S logo with the cannabis. Okay, that's one thing I rock with Jeffries. Like, he blow big trees, you know. He don't hide it. He be, you know, he be with it. And he incorporates that into his brand, which I like when, you know, artists are true to themselves. Um, he got grinder seat. And I don't wear makeup and stuff like that. But see, he makes sure he got something for everybody. Like, I definitely can get me a Jeffree Star uh, grinder. This flower on the star and the grinders with are the little dollars and we have a I like how the star is a is a cannabis leaf. That's dope. Long and violet. I, I I love these. Now if you don't know what a grinder is, this is used for grinding down um, marijuana. You can also put your broken highlighters in here if you drop them on the floor, which I saw someone do on YouTube. Genius. Um, okay, there is a few more purple items. Let's dive in. All right, now so many people ask for he more colors hustler. in the JSC Cross body bag. Hustler. So I made a of a uh, cat bags, and, uh, that's what hats, hats, out. jackets. It's really more of a luxury item, and when you get this, it does come with the. I don't like that though. That jacket. It looks like a bowling jacket. Like when you're on like a bowling team. Hanger. So we have new JSC hangers that are coming with the more luxury items. This does retail for. The hanger comes with it too. Dang, he is not playing. Sixty dollars. Um, it feels really nice. It is of okay. course two tone. I don't like if that. If you look one. purple, baby, this is. Oh, I kind of like that. Now the wind breakers, of course, retail for forty five dollars. That's kind of cute. Has a crown right there and hi. She's really cute, bitch. Yeah. Oh my god, you guys, this completes the entire Bloodlust collection reveal. I cannot wait for everyone to see and touch everything. Now remember, let's do a quick recap. The palette and everything in this entire collection launches February 21st at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That is 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Jeffree Star Cosmetics and all of my retailers. So all right so y'all know when the collection drops y'all got my review of each product y'all seen what jeffrey was talking about each product him explaining the different you know uh formulas and textures and colors etc etc this is one of my favorite collections i've seen from jeffrey so far i think i'm really intrigued by the packaging like i said right now i'm really like obsessed with saweetie and I can see her, you know, incorporating a lot of these, um, like, colors and shades and whatever into her looks. I'm excited. Um, so y'all heard when the makeup line drops. Make sure y'all pick that up. Comment down below. Um, if you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Check out my Spotify playlist, SoundCloud, all my social media links down in the description box. And we'll see you in the next one.